Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you guys doing? It is a beautiful sunny day here. Absolutely glorious. I'm looking that way because I have a window over there. All this sunlight coming in, it's fabulous. And looking at your comments as well, even though there's been some breeziness and some weather happening, uh, it looks to be lovely with most of you guys as well. So I'm gonna to come to all of your comments soon, but we are here. It is Monday, I think the 26th of February. We're the 26th, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But I know it's Monday morning. It's near the end of February. We are going to do our Qigong. So let's get ourselves moving, shall we? Make sure you have your safe space to practice in, non-slip floor, everything to where you are comfortable. Maybe some tea or water to keep you going. Follow me. We're going to start with feet together, two hands pushing sky, nice deep breaths. Let's breathe in. Clasping the hands and breathe out, stretch. Breathing in. And relax, breathe out. Same again, breathing in. Clasp the hands, breathe out. Breathing in. And relax. One more time. All right, very nice. Let's bring the feet apart and roll through these shoulders. Let's gently wake everything up, get everything moving. Allow your body to breathe. Get some space. I'm gonna say hello. Hello, I think we're gonna go backwards. Hello, Richard and Yola. Hello, Alison and Louise. Hello, Lynn. Uh, now, who else did we have in here? We had Team Qigong. Hello to you guys and to Jean as well. And, and hello to whoever else is in. I did get uh, one or two messages this morning from people catching up later. So hi to the guys catching up later. All right, let's take this movement. We're going to bring it into the body. Let's breathe out. And drop. Thinking, getting this connection all the way through the body. A nice continuous flow. Breathe out, pushing back up, letting go. All right, good. Let's roll through these shoulders in the other direction. And just get some movement going through the rib cage, up the back of the neck and over. Lots of space. And Roll, breathe out. Good. 
Okay. All right, very nice. Little wiggles, little jiggles. We'll do some balancing of plates because we like that. It's nice again, just get this openness through the body. So if we start with the right hand at the back, sweeping around, take it nice and steady. Feel the space. Let the weight sink and settle. All right, let's go the other way, forward and out, coming over. And just take it easy, lots of space. Okay, very nice. Two hands together at the same time then. So we'll bring them around, bend these elbows coming back. You don't need to lean back too much. Luckily, they are very soft and visible plates. So don't <laughs> feel that you have to overstretch, all right? If they fall, it's not gonna be a problem. Let's go in the other direction, forwards, out over. It's always about listening to yourself. What's going on? Take it easy. Feel the movement. All right. Okay, good. Let's let go. We're going to bring the hands together, clasp the hands, and we're going to have a nice roll through these wrists. Yeah, very good. So we have this sort of up and over, one, two, one, two, one, two, and just loose, soft as you can make it. Okay, again, you go in the other direction. So if you were rolling forward, try and roll backwards, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Keep these hands clasped for a moment like this. Turn the palms out and give yourself a stretch. Pushing through, keep the shoulders nice and soft. Okay, come back. Check which hand is on top and swap. Bring the other hand on top. Turn the hands out and stretch. But it's the same stretch as before, but it might feel a little bit different if your body is used to doing it the other way, clasping your hands and stretching one way. So we've got our hands now this way round, we're going to move through the wrists, rolling, keep it nice and soft. Okay, the way. Very, very, very nice. Okay, wiggles. Jiggles, let's move down to our toes then. So we're going to sink the weight as we always do on one side, relax through the body and moving through the toes. So however many times you may have done this exercise and engaged with all the way the other end of the body, come back and feel, pay attention. Reinforcing these connections every time, one by one. Okay, then we're going to move up to the ankle. It's nice and loose as always with this, if you're nice and steady, we can wiggle through the ankle this way. We're going to move through the knee and feel the movements this way if you want. OK, 
okay, through the hip. So we've got a nice stretch forward and open. Make sure your support leg is soft. Little bit of bounce there. And some big circles through this hip. If we're nice and steady, we're going to come up, stretching out. All right, good. Same on the other side. Sink, sink, sink. Feel the toes. Engage with each one. All right, ankle. Soft, nice and loose. And the knee. Again, however you are comfortable with this movement. Okay. Good stretch, take your time and so big circle up and out. Keep yourself steady. Okay, all right, wiggles. So as I had mentioned in my post this morning, the importance of developing internal stillness, this real quietness that we want to bring into ourselves. Um, and and it's, it's something part of the, the mental training bringing the mind to the body, which helps the body soften and relax. And bringing the mind to the body, paying attention, listening, developing the sense of calm, it's from there that we can then guide internally because our movements or any internal chi movements, they require the mind to, you know, the the mind is behind everything. It's this mental process of guiding uh, through the mind. But if your mind is always out there, even if we're going through some physical movements, you know, and we know we're doing it, it's only part of the whole thing. It's only a really small part of the whole thing. And you never really get into the depths of all of this. And so standing as we are, listening, engage with yourself. This is why we always stand for a few moments before going through anything. Feel what's going on. Quite good to start with the feet on the floor. It really anchors you. Feeling your breath in a kind of passive observation. Don't change the breath at the moment, just observe. And as we observe this movement of the body with the breath, 
bringing the mind, the awareness to yourself, the body starts to relax. In this state, we can start to consciously relax, softening the feet. Nice and open through the ankles. Long through the lengths of the legs. Give that space in the body as you release tension. We're not collapsing, we're opening. Open through the length of the spine. The tail moves down and we lift, lifting between the shoulder blades, long through the neck, tall through the top of the crown. Keep the head tall. Again, let's breathe, deep breath in. Breathing out, letting go. And again, feel the breath. Now as you breathe in, feel the breath enter the body and let the belly expand, drawing the breath down into the body. Breathing out, letting go. We want to take this quality into our movement. So we'll clasp the hands. And we move slowly, bringing the hands overhead. Pay attention. Listen. Keep the shoulders soft. Keep nice alignment through the body. Hands are overhead, we'll turn the palms up. Breathing in, we'll engage the whole body, pushing up with the hands, down with the feet. Breathing out. Letting go. Observe the qualities within the body. And you stretch and then release. So we're going to coil from the ground up and try to keep nice alignment through the body. Feel what's going on. We're not overstretching. The shoulders stay soft. And then we release, we come back. And twist. And coming back. Okay. We are going to stretch, extend, 
and pay attention. Feel the stretch, but don't overdo it. Let go in this position. Feel the weight of the upper body. Nice deep breath. Coming back. Lift. Extend. Feel the stretch. Comfortably stretching and then releasing into the stretch. Okay. Let's come back. And letting go. Okay. That quality that you take into your movement, that's the quietness, the stillness within movement. That's what we want to develop. Paying attention, listening. And even if we do a faster movement now, so we'll bring the feet apart, we'll let the arms come around, gently tapping. I'm gonna say quickly hello to Janet, you did make it in. <laughs> so even when you're doing this and you're letting go and the arms are flying around, you can pay attention to yourself. Feel how the weight might shift on the feet. Feel where the arms are tapping against the body. Are we still relaxed? Can we relax more? Let's come out on the heel. My legs soft. Am I keeping my balance nicely? What needs to change if I'm not? Can I go smoothly from this one to the next one? We'll come in on the toe. Retaining all of this space that you were just working on through the neck, the shoulders, the head stays nice and tall. All right, okay, very good. That was very nice. Go grab your cups of tea. I'm gonna come and read your messages, see how you guys are all doing. Okay, so Jean, good morning to you. Sunny and cool, three degrees. That's quite cool. I thought I'd take some of this now. Uh, I see in places, but ready and waiting for our Qigong live stream week to start. Yay! Uh, <laughs> Danny and Deb, Team Qigong, you guys are here. It's been wet and windy overnight in the south, but this has blown through, leaving things bright and breezy. That's how we like it. We can save that kind of weather for nighttime. Bright and breezy is good. Lynn, good morning. Good morning to all from Lynn. Beautiful sunny day in Milner Thought. Chilly, uh, but I'll take that. That's all right, isn't it? I'll take that too. Uh, bring on the qigong to warm us up. Fabulous. Louise, hello to you. Uh, bright sun and icy roads this morning. I think it seems to be a, a bit of a theme uh, with you in Oslo, but the snow is melting fast. We still got snow there, goodness. Uh, ready for spring now, absolutely. We've got uh, crocuses up in the garden. There are snowdrops and um, hellebore. I love the hellebore. They're often the early ones. They're often the first ones to come out in my garden. Alison, good morning to you. Uh, it's crisp and bright morning in the Clyde Valley. Uh, oh, you're on catch up today. Hello, when you're later, when you're in later. Uh, Yola, good morning. Uh, you are a sunny 13 degrees in Warsaw. That's, that's quite pleasant, isn't it? So you're back from a uh, month's phys physical therapy rehab. 
Um, now, I'd be interested to see how you get on with all of this. It's good to be connecting with the live stream uh, and with everyone rather than being in permanent catch up. It's great to have you back here and, and, and being with us and, and joining us. And uh, yes, I'd be very interested to see how you get on with all of this now uh, and, and continuing on with your physiotherapy, if you like. Richard, good morning to you. A beautiful chilly morning in northeast Fife. The frost has gone. Yay! And it's cold and bright with Janet as well. <laughs> I love it. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Isn't there something about the sun coming out, even if it's cold, that just lifts the spirits? Springtime is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So, today's movement. Today's movement, we haven't done for a little while in class, actually, in our live stream. Um, it's taken from the general health routine, and it is <laughs> yet another one of my favorite movements. I only do the good ones, of course. <laughs> Why would I do anything else? And this is called Rock Spreads Its Wings. Remember that one? Rock as in uh, R-O-C, the great big mythological bird, uh, not Dwayne Johnson, not that rock. The big mythological bird, which is big enough to carry off elephants. So it is a big flappy move. It's a great move. And we're going to do it bit by bit. We're gonna look at the legs on their own, first of all, because we've got two different steps that we do. Uh, that, that are involved with this. So the legwork on its own, if we start with feet together, I'll come just a little bit closer, there we go. We're gonna take a step first of all to the left. So we drop the weight through the right foot, we're going to step to the left, and then we come through, yay, the big birdie, <laughs> says Lynn, it's a good one. <laughs> and we stretch, push the feet down, feel that counter movement up, then we come back, don't go through the hip, go through the ground, sink, in and up. Same to the other side, okay? So drop, step, come and stretch. Feel this uh, expansion through the body that we then release as we come back, sink the weight, coming in, coming up. Okay, that's the easy one. The next one's a little bit tricky, so we'll spend a little bit more time on it. We're going to step forward. So take your left foot, so we drop the weight again, and we take the left foot, push through the ankle forwards, then we step forward without moving the body onto the heel. Okay, so we're nicely settled still. Bring the weight now onto that front foot. Don't over lean, but push the front foot into the floor, okay? The heel is up at the back. Then, before you come back, sink down. Try and keep the hips underneath you. Don't go rear end first. Roll onto that back foot so you are on top of this foot. Come in, come up. Let's do the same with the other foot. So we sink, push the right ankle forward then step on the heel, just comfortably in front. Bring the weight onto that foot, then you stretch. So you're moving up, then you're moving down, drop the hips, coming back, stay upright, feel yourself drop through that back foot before you come in and up. We'll do this movement forward again. I'm gonna turn a little bit sideways so you can see what's going on here. So. Again, it's your left foot that's going to go first. So if we sink the weights, push that left ankle forward, and we come out here. So relax, you're upright. Then you bring the weight down through that front foot. And we're still sunk, we're still the same height. Then we stretch. So if you can, the back foot is on the tip of the toe, no leaning. From here, it is important that you drop and sink again first before coming back. So when you come back, like I said, don't lean with this. Keep yourself upright. 
feel yourself drop through the back foot then you come in and up same to the other side so we sink roll onto the front foot stretch through both legs and then again back down coming back keep your tail down coming in and up okay all right we're going to come back to this in a moment when we've got our arms sorted out so big flappy rock bird let's have a look at what these arms are doing we've got our nice round embracing the moon kind of posture great big moon in our arms and we're going to take our arms and they extend out the sides they come round 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 till the hands are overhead now when you're here there is a slight outward upward motion really feel a bit of a stretch through the rib cage without lifting the shoulders and all of this stretch through the arms all the way to the fingertips then we let that go soft let the fingertips trail behind and we come back to here we do it again so as we expand we breathe in breathe out okay that's when we step to the sides when we step forward the arms are going to do something different from here there's a symmetry so both arms are doing the same thing we come up the front and as we start to come up the front there is a rotation that starts to happen with these hands until they come also overhead now when you're here it looks the same as when you were going sideways except this time there is a slight pull back with the arms okay you're still nice and upright but the arms are pulling back slightly then you let go and they come down okay let's do that again so from here it's breathing in rolling up pulling back elbows are out breathe out letting go okay so let's put these arms with these legs then i'm going to come back here because my arms might get chopped off a little bit i think but we know what we're doing now it's fine we're going to go to the left so we sink the weight stepping out then we're shifting and as you push the feet down into the ground that gives rise to the movement up through the body expanding up and out through these arms then we're going to come back letting go soft sinking everything coming back in let's go to the other side sink step come to the middle and expand feet down arms out and up and letting go in up. then we're going to move forward so again we sink the weight push this ankle forward so do the step and the arms just come a little ways up so you're nice and steady moving on to that front foot the arms extend up and back you just about see my arms were pulling the elbows and hands back fingers are still facing then we're going to come down roll back remember keep yourself nice and upright in and up other side sink roll coming through back with these arms stretch the legs move down relax coming back in and up okay let's relax a moment give yourself a good jiggle so the first process is the choreography we're learning the arms and legs where they go the sequence and all of that stuff then 
we start really the listening skill. Where is my balance? Can I relax into this? Can I feel the stretch and release going on in the body? Is the whole body moving as one? So there is a calm guidance and paying attention. So we're always trying to improve. And even if you've done something a million times, well, you're a different person the last time you did it. You would have been doing different things, so your body is going to behave ever so slightly differently. Can you feel that? Can you still improve? Quiet. So let's do this together. We are going to do it to four counts of eights. I'll guide us through it. We're going to just start with our feet together first of all. I am going to come back a little bit so you can see the arm movements when I've got them overhead, hopefully, a little bit. And let's start with the palms on the belly. Some nice deep breaths. Feel your alignment, feel these qualities. Letting go. So that everything can become calm and still. Relax. Rock spreads its wings to your left. One, breathing in. Two, breathing out. Three, four, four. Moving forward. Five, breathe in. Seven, eight, two, breathing in, two, breathe Five, six, seven. Breathe in. Two, breathe out. Three. Four. Six, seven,
four knees in. Two, breathe out. Three, four, five, Seven, eight, and circles to the belly, breathing in, breathe out. Bring the palms to rest on the belly. Again, just breathe. That was lovely. I like that one. Yep. Let's take a left thumb. Wrap the other hand around. Thank you very, very much for joining me. I wish you guys a fantastic week. See you next time. Take care. Bye.